Hi Shine Kids! How are you doing this morning? Happy New Year! I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas holidays with your family. I know I did. So, welcome back to Shine at Home. We haven't been on your screens for the last couple of weeks, but we are back and I am excited to see what we have in store for you in the next couple of weeks. So today, we are going to do a lesson called Jesus Goes Back to Heaven. But before we do, we want to calm ourselves down, right? So we want to calm our head, our hearts, and our hands as we slowly breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Let's enter God's story together. Here's the story symbol for the part of God's story that we'll be spending time in today. I wonder what clues it gives us about the story we're about to hear. Listen closely as we read the story together to see which story our symbol represents. Let's open our Bibles to Matthew 28, verse 16, where it says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. The Bible tells us that Jesus invited his disciples to meet him on a certain mountain. He had something very important to tell them. Just like when your parent has something important to tell you. All the disciples were there. Then Jesus came and spoke to them. He told them something important. This is what he said. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. There were three important ideas in what Jesus said to them. Let's read the last verses again so you can think about what those three ideas are. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you, always to the very end of the age. What are those three ideas? Well, let's see. First he says, go, go and tell everybody about me. Next he says, baptize, baptize the people who believe. And finally he says, I am with you. He will always be with us. Does what Jesus said make it seem like he's going away? What makes you think that? Hmm, let's find out. For 40 days after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples sometimes, proving that he was alive. He had so much to tell them. 
For those 40 days, Jesus told them about the kingdom of God. One night at supper, he told them something important and very surprising. It wasn't a suggestion or a passing thought. It was a command. Jesus said, do not leave Jerusalem. Wait for the gift my father promised you. I've told you about it before. John baptized people with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I wonder, I wonder what they thought about that. If you were there and Jesus commanded you to wait for a special gift, what questions would go through your mind? When they met together again, the disciples had some questions. So much had happened lately. Jesus' death, his resurrection, his appearances out of nowhere, and now Jesus promised this new and unusual gift. So they asked Jesus, Lord, are you going to set up your kingdom right here in Jerusalem? After all, they had always hoped that Jesus would be an earthly king. Jesus said, It's not for you to know when I will come to rule the earth, but you will receive very special power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witnesses and tell everybody about me. Here in Jerusalem, and throughout the whole world. After Jesus said this, he was taken up into the sky right in front of their eyes. A cloud covered him, and that was the last time they saw Jesus on earth. The disciples were still straining their eyes to see Jesus, when suddenly two men dressed all in white stood beside them. They spoke to the disciples. Men of Galilee, why are you standing there? Why are you looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come again. He will come in the same way that you have seen him go. Imagine that you are a disciple. What is the most surprising thing that you will tell your family about when you get home? How will you explain the wonder of it all? Now it's activity time. Select and do one or more of the response activities from God's Big Story Card number 139. Or check out five ways to retell a Bible story with kids for some fun ways to retell this story. For an easy extra this week, guide the kids in creating wordless books they can use to tell Jesus' story from resurrection to ascension to their family and friends. Use the book template for each child. Have the story symbols from sections 24 to 28 available. Use the instructions on the back of the lesson plan to put your books together. Help young children draw the symbols by breaking them down into simple shapes, demonstrating how to draw them on your own paper so that they can follow your example. What an amazing story! Jesus goes up to heaven, but tells his disciples to wait for a special gift that he has in store for them. I wonder what the special gift will be. Do you know? We are going to find out what that special gift will be next week. So let's come together and pray together and thank God for this wonderful story from the Bible.
Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we praise you. You are Lord of both heaven and earth. We thank you. We feel safe knowing that you will always be with us through the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everyone. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye. That's it for this week. Have fun shining at home. We'll see you later.